Hello, I'm Greg Radke of Radke Mods, and welcome to episode one of season three of my Power PC series. Today's episode originally was going to be the celebratory episode of uh, 20 years of the iMac being on sale, um, and I was going to show you my uh, iMac G3, but I uh, decided to skip that for this episode and save that for episode two, because today we're going to be introducing you to this MDD right here, uh, which I got for a very, very incredible deal, and we'll go into the backstory in a second. But before we do that, I would like to congratulate Garrett Green for winning the Power Mac G5 from the Power Mac G5 giveaway. So congrats again to Garrett Green. Um, Garrett, I'll be shipping it out to you very soon. But for now, let's go and talk about this MDD. So let's go. It's alive! Okay, so here we have a mystery Firewire 800 MDD. I have no clue what's in this system. I just know it's a Firewire 800. And um, I'll show you some quick pictures of uh, the listing that I found this from. Uh, it was on the Facebook Marketplace. And um, the seller happened to be local. In fact, he was less than five minutes away from me. So when I saw the listing, I automatically messaged him. I'm like, dude, I want this thing. And um, he originally had it listed for $100. Uh, he had marked it down to $90 when the listing was up. Uh, it must have been up for a long time and no one had been giving him any hits. So I, uh, I offered him $75 for it and he was he, he took the offer immediately. Um, but at the time he was out of town he said it would take a few weeks before he could come back in to uh, uh, you know give it to me. So I uh, talked to him um, and uh, he gave me uh, the beginning of, uh, or he gave it. To, he said he was going to be in the beginning of August, I think it was, and um, I was totally fine with that. But um, that day came around. He's like, I had a family emergency. I have to. I can't come in. But uh, if you can wait two more weeks, I will uh, knock it down to fifty dollars. I'm like, cool. So today I went and picked this up from him and he told me really quickly that his sister had bought this MDD brand new in 2003 and the family has had it ever since. This is a one family system and um, from what uh, I, he was t uh, saying uh, it was probably in his storage um, um, place for a while so I don't know if it's working right now but from what I heard from before, it originally did work the last time they had used it. And this is a FireWire 800 system. The listing, it just showed this, the back real quick, and uh, the insides of it. And I saw the FireWire 800 port. All the pictures were a little blurry. I couldn't read the specs, but I knew it was a FireWire 800 and I had to have it because I don't have a FireWire 800, I do now. And also, I'm, I'm going to be doing a lot of things with this system. But right now, this is still a mystery to me. I haven't even looked at the sticker on the back. I have no clue what's on the inside. And uh, it's been really hard to uh, not look at the sticker in the back. Now, there's a few things uh, I can tell from the case that are a little wrong. Uh, the speaker grill is missing, but luckily, I have a parts MDD over here which I have a speaker grill for, so I can replace that pretty easily. And there's a few other things, but uh, we're, we're going to get into that in a second. First off, let's go over what the system came with. It came with all the original books and paperwork, as we can see here. We can open it up really quick and just quickly go through it. We've got the setup guide here, really nice. It's got all the details in it on how to set it up. Real cool. And then we've got, let's just, uh, let's see here. The one year warranty didn't come out the sleeve, but that's not a big deal. We got that. It came with the original Apple stickers right here. It also came with the hardware test disc right here and a blank CD which I've verified, this is blank, I don't know why it came with it. 
It comes with the recovery restore uh, software right here. It also comes with the Power Mac G4 advertising pamphlet, which uh, I figure, uh, I don't think this came with the system. This probably came from the Apple Store when they were getting it, and they, they kept it. Really neat. This is a really neat thing to look at. It goes over all the details about it. These are getting kind of hard to find, so I'm, I'm really happy I've got that. Yeah. Okay. And here's some of the specs of those systems right there. Real cool. Then it comes with the Apple Care book here. And uh, just, you know, how Apple Care works. It comes with all the original coupons for the software. Real cool. Um, never used. And then it also comes with the uh, license agreement thing. Okay. So that's all that. It also came with a bag full of wires. It's got the original um, power cable right here. Uh, VGA, an, another uh, power cable. These are actually from uh, the monitor he uh, offered to give me for free. It was a, a cheap PC LCD, but I was like, I have plenty enough monitors. I don't really need it. So, yeah, I, I didn't take that. But also comes with a... Um, very interesting cable here. I, I need to take this out because I've never actually seen one of these. This looks like it's stuck in the bag. There we go. This is still mixed up with everything else. It's the wrong wire. <laughs> here we go. This comes with the DVI two VGA adapter on a wire. Really interesting. I've never seen one of those in person. I knew they were around, but that uh, was one of the original cables, I guess, that came with the MDD. It came with a keyboard extension right here that can come in handy. And of course, the original power cable right here. Really cool, okay. Has the Apple logo on it. Um, I've not had a gray one yet, so that's cool. But let's stick these wires to the side because we're not going to need them. This also came with the original Pro Keyboard. Uh, in fact, uh, I don't know. Yeah, this was probably the last of the... Uh, I think the uh, mid-2003s came with the uh, next generation of Pro Keyboard. So this is an early 2003 MDD. Uh, so it would have came with this one. This is the original keyboard. It's full of dust and hair. And it's really nasty and it's very, very, very yellow. Um, it's going to need cleaned. I've got a ton of these things and they're all yellow and I'm just too lazy to retrobrite them. Uh, this is going to go in the stack of um, keyboards that need clean, but I'm sure it works and we're not going to be using it in this video. But let's go to uh, why you're watching this video here. The MDD itself. I don't know what's in the system. This is a big mystery to me. This is what I'm calling the mystery MDD. In fact, that's probably why I'll name it the mystery MDD. I don't know what's in it, um, but we can start by looking inside. We do have an optical drive. Don't know what that is, you know. It's in great shape. One little scratch there, um, but other than that, it's pretty clean. So here's the moment of truth. I still have not looked at the sticker. So let's see what it came with. Who knows, this might have been upgraded at one point. I do know from the internal pictures that it came with a three coil uh, CPU, which um, from my experience are usually 1.33 or higher um, dual uh, G4s, but this one I've got a feeling might be a dual 125, but I don't know yet. So we're going to look at the sticker together. Okay, so this is a dual 1.25 okay that's uh, one thing down uh, the other thing that gave it away was it had a green PCB and the faster ones have blue PCBs uh, it also came with 256 megs of RAM uh, 
80 gig hard drive. It's got a combo drive in it and a 9000 Pro with the uh, internet modem. And as we can see, it's got a Firewire 800 port. So we're going to open the system up and see if it's gotten anything else. It is very dusty. And yes, there is no hard drives in it, so we'll have to. Wow, that's dusty. I'm already having problems breathing just looking at that. <coughs> Sorry guys, I'm a I'm allergic to dust and it's like an instant re reaction. Yeah, it's hard to collect vintage Max, but you look like this. <clears throat> okay, I'm good. Anyway, so um, as we're looking through here, we have, uh, it did not come with the airport card. It didn't come with the Bluetooth module. But I have one for each uh, sitting up here. I also have a brand new uh, pram battery for this system already. I got all that in advance. So that's one thing. And, <coughs> oh, goodness. Uh, let's see here. We've got a hard uh, a power supply. This is the uh, 360. This has uh, been uh, upgraded to the smaller, um, more quiet power supply. So this might not sound like a um, wind tunnel. <coughs> we will. S <coughs> we will see. Uh, it's got the original fan in it, it looks like, so I'll replace that with the parts MDD power, uh, fan, which is the more quiet f fan, and the system will be as quiet as my MDD right there, my Firewire 400. I gotta close this thing, <laughs> but, <coughs> wow, um, it's all, <coughs> it's all a lot better, but, Anyway, I'm all, I'm out of breath now. Yeah, it's dusty. Um, this probably will even kill me when I turn it on. But um, we're going to hook it up right now, and we're going to um, see what happens. I'm going to uh, put my G5 into uh, target disk mode, plug it up to the back of this, and we'll use the uh, uh, iMac keyboard and mouse I already have setting here, and my ADC display to um, um, do this. So yeah, let's get going on that. Okay guys, I, I'm having a little issues breathing now because that's a lot of dust. But I'm okay, I can breathe, sorta. Anyway, so I have hooked everything up but the power itself down here. Uh, and I've got my G5 right now in target disk mode. That's why it's screaming because the video card's running without any drivers on it right now. So uh, I apologize for that being loud in the background. But we're going to plug this thing in and do the first boot up on it in God knows how long. So let's plug it in. Okay, it's plugged in. Let's hope it boots up. Okay, I'll press the power button. I hear power. It bongs. <clears throat> Let's see if it will go into the boot menu. <clears throat> okay, it sees my G5. We'll go over, what should we boot it in? I'd say let's boot it in Tiger, because I don't know how much RAM it has. It kind of looks like it wasn't upgraded. So Leopard's going to be really laggy with 256 megs of RAM in it. So, wait for the boot menu to uh, finish loading. And Tiger, let's see what happens. I do have to say one thing, it is whisper quiet. I might not even have to replace that fan in it. 
Uh, here, let me uh, move the microphone real quick, just so you can hear how quiet this is. Take this off of here. It is really quiet. That is like more quiet than my uh, Firewire 400. That's really amazing. I was figuring this thing would be really, really, really loud. So, anyway, it is booted up into my G5's Tiger. And um, let's go over to about this Mac. And it is a dual 1.25 gigahertz, 1 meg of L3 cache. The RAM has been upgraded in it. Uh, it probably, let's see, I bet you it had a 128 meg added to it memory okay yeah it, of course it had a 512 added to it <laughs> but yeah it's uh, it's been upgraded a little bit but not a whole lot it's got a uh, Phillips um, drive in it uh, for yep it's a it's a combo drive and um, you know we'll uh, clean this thing out it's got the 9000 Pro in it we'll definitely clean it out let's see if the firewire is showing yeah up to 800 so it is a firewire 800 awesome um, of course that's uh, that's duh you know it, it's literally got a firewire 800 port in it but there it is it is a dual 1.25 gigahertz and I'm gonna to have to move this out of my way for a while so I can breathe again but um you know this i'm sorry this has been a short uh episode um you know but we're going to be doing a lot of things with this i'm going to be upgrading the cpu in it and um putting an aluminum heat sink in and uh we'll be putting the uh bluetooth and the airport in it and pimping this thing out and um who knows we'll build it up maybe um to um match the performance of my firewire 400 by the time we're done so that could be cool anyway so once again congratulations to garrett green for winning the power mac g5 uh once again garrett i will be sending that out to you very soon and um any anyway um thank you guys for watching today's episode and this has been a rutk mods video Okay, guys. Oh. <sighs>